Mr. Beast decided to build 100 wells all across Africa so that 500,000 people now have drinkable water, and the internet is somehow mad at him. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing here on this channel, I have a Patreon, the link's in the description down below. Sign up if you want to, no pressure. Now, let's get into this story. Mr. Beast recently uploaded a video titled, I Built 100 Wells in Africa, where he traveled around different countries in Africa, Cameroon, Somalia, Uganda, Kenya, you name it, and built wells so that people could have drinkable water. By the end of this video, 500,000 people now had access to clean water from these wells. On top of that, he also helped some of these communities with their school giving them whiteboards, projectors, computers, donating soccer balls to the local community. A lot of seemingly good stuff. Here are some of the highlights from that video. These 100 wells are going to give around half a million people fresh water to drink. And while we were finishing these wells, we were also able to update one of their schools with brand new computers and even put modern whiteboards and projectors in all the classrooms. You know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. This river, when it is swollen, it can sweep away people, students, or even animals. In the recent past, we have lost about three people trying to cross this river. We wake up very early, about four o'clock, so that I can fetch water for this school. We are not safe fetching water here. That place is very slippery. Chances of getting an injury is very high. I know it's weird that a YouTuber has to do all this stuff, but someone's got to do it and if no one else is we're gonna do it as you can tell it really does change the lives of the communities where we build them and to be fair many people did applaud him for what he did throughout this journey saying that he is solving a problem for the different communities that he's touched and he's actually pointing out a major problem with each of the governments of the countries that he visited many said that through this video he managed to help hundreds of thousands of people while also pointing out the failures of the government saying that their taxes should have been able to pay for them to have drinkable water which is to be expected right all in all you would think that people would be very happy to see an act of charity like this play out and to see hundreds of thousands of young people, women, some of whom are pregnant. And that's exactly what you would expect, right? If you see a group of people that are struggling with an issue and especially an issue as important as drinkable water and someone takes it upon themselves to fix that issue, we should feel happy, right? And of course we can use it as a moment to reflect, right? Because it is sort of crazy that some random guy from America who just happens to have a lot of money and a big platform can just fly over to a country and start building wells. But should we be pissed off at the guy who decides to do that? No, in my opinion. But of course, as is the case with anything on the internet, some people just find a way to be mad. And Mr. Beast even anticipated this himself. He's quoted as saying, I'm gonna get canceled because I uploaded a video helping people and to be 100% clear, I don't care. But let's get into some of this now viral criticism that he's getting for building these 100 wells. Many are pulling the race card and saying that it is unbelievable that a white man is going into a predominantly black area and getting such attention for solving issues like this. Others are saying that he's perpetuating a stereotype that Africa is somehow dependent on handouts rather than having their government or their people fix their issues. Others are concerned that he's profiting off of the videos that he's making, even though he says this at the very end of his video. We're literally not profiting a dime off this video. 100% of the money we raise is gonna go towards building more wells like you saw in this video all around the globe. And of course, he's receiving another form of common criticism that he is doing charity porn, which is essentially this idea that he loves showing himself in this virtuous position of helping other people. And we love to watch that content because we feel holier than thou and pity those that are receiving the help. So while Mr. Beast has managed to go and build these 100 wells, giving 500,000 people drinkable water while also doing philanthropy that has now raised $350,000, at least as of now, for getting other people drinkable water, there's trolls on the internet being upset about what he's done. I'm gonna actually read a thread so that we have proof that these people actually exist. Albert Hyde on X says, Mr. Beast 100 Wells is disrespect to Africans. He says he described the entire Africa as a village with its people living in huts. He projected that all Africans lack good drinking water. Wells in 2023 is offensive. Why not boreholes or pipe born water? <laughs> It's crazy to receive an act of kindness and then complain about the act of kindness that you've received. But I digress, we're gonna move on. Africans do not need water donations. We ain't that poor and thirsty. Africa is a continent with 54 countries. He must be specific where he went. <laughs> As if he didn't directly point out where he went throughout the entire video. But I digress. <laughs> he finishes off by saying this is capitalism. He want to low-key use these countries for profit. He has set Africans for global ridicule by building wells we never asked him for. <sighs> At 
some point when reading this, you want to ask yourself, is this even real? Like, is this person being so for real right now? But it has 5,000 likes on X, meaning this is resonating. This message is resonating with people. And I just want to point out the obvious. If these communities didn't need drinkable water, they would have had drinkable water. And we can complain about the idea that maybe this video perpetuates a stereotype that Africa is dependent on handouts. But would you rather have those 500,000 people go thirsty? And even with all that noticed and acknowledged, if you still felt like this is a stereotype being pushed, is Mr. Beast the one to be upset at? Or would it instead be the institution responsible for the problem, which would be the government creating the conditions where these people do not have drinkable water? We've already dispelled the myth that he's profiting off of this video because he stated directly, all the proceeds that he receives will go back to other initiatives like this. But still, people are levying the criticism that he is a white man gaining attention and pride for all of the things that he's doing in Africa, and that he will go on to profit from this in other ways. And it's quite obvious that race should not be a factor that's mentioned here. It matters not that he's a white man going over to help a predominantly black community. This is a human helping other humans. Mr. Beast could be doing far more nefarious things with the millions of dollars that he has to invest in these videos, and instead he is deciding to give people drinkable water. It just astounds me that anybody could be upset about this. And if he benefits from all of this by getting attention or a higher self-image, then so be it. Have you seen some of the things that our influencers are doing and profiting from in this country? Last time I checked in on some of our influencers, they were getting famous for, I don't know, getting a BBL, licking ice cream at the grocery store and putting it back, doing TikTok dances, cosplaying a Walmart cashier, eating NyQuil chicken. Do I need to go on with this list? And Mr. Beast decides to do a great act of charity that helps hundreds of thousands and he's the thing that's wrong with society? I think not. BFFR. <laughs> And to some extent, I get it, right? I'll watch some of these charity videos or these TikToks where people are going around filming homeless people as they give them money or help them get a haircut, and you think to yourself, uh, it can feel a little icky sometimes. But at least we're watching acts of good being committed on the internet. There is so much worse content that we could all be consuming day in and day out. And if it encourages other people to go on and do good things or to help people out or donate to a charity that is gonna bring people drinkable water, then I'm all for it. It's pretty easy to be an armed your critic when we watch these videos and we're not personally doing anything ourselves to solve any issues surrounding us. And I think that's what people are tapping into here. But I think the hard and fast rule here could maybe be if you have a group of people who want the help and they are consenting to the way in which you are helping them and they're happy with the results, you can do it and go on with your life and hopefully not receive a bunch of hate on the internet for doing so. None of the criticism that Mr. Beast is receiving on the internet is going to stop him from carrying out these projects and I commend him for doing so. We pay taxes to a government every single day that doesn't seem to be solving our issues. So you know what? I myself am going to give a little bit to Beast Philanthropy. At least we know the money is actually going towards something. And maybe you'd like to join me in that in whatever way works for you and in whatever initiative works for you in a world that is so filled with horrible news and bad content and just tragedy. It's good to see good people do good things. But those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys as always. Write your thoughts in the comments down below. If you disagree with me, duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day. And I will see you next time. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better.